Uh, good morning, Alan. Good morning, Dwayne. Good to see you again. Really appreciate you taking the time to meet with me this morning. Um, I really would like to uh, just get going and understanding a little bit more about uh, the challenge that you and, and the rest of the site are, are working to accomplish. Well, our challenge in the Primax and Value Stream is to increase our production rate by uh, 500 uh, trays per shift to 600 trays per shift, and we need to accomplish this with our existing headcount. Okay, great. Um, so now let's take it down level and talk a little bit more about how that relates to you and your team. Um, what is the target condition that you're striving to achieve? Well, supplies inspection, our piece of the value stream, uh, we need to uh, establish a workflow system in this area that's both planned and leveled. Okay. Um, and by when are you looking to achieve this? Uh, by the end of the year, which is four months from now. Okay. So teach me and tell me a little bit more about how then this target condition relates back to the challenge that you just shared. Well, we need additional capacity and we predict that if we can get our work into a planned and level state, then we'll have the capacity to support the, the value stream challenge. Okay. Very good. So then what is actually happening now? Uh, currently, our work is 80% unplanned and it's not leveled. Okay. Um, there are uh, a number of interruptions that occur throughout the day that, that create this unplanned state and you can see them in this graph here. Wow, okay, very good. All right, um, so let's move on. So then what obstacles do you think are preventing you from achieving your target condition? We have four obstacles that we've identified. Um, one being that deliveries come in batches. So we get a large number of batches of materials at one time. Um, another being interruptions, and in particular, the supplies inspection uh, personnel uh, being interrupted to go back into the warehouse and direct the movement of materials. Okay. Uh, a third was is the occasional high reject rate of particular uh, materials that come in. And the fourth was that everyone on the spot inspection team is not cross-trained to do all activities. Okay, very good. Sounds comprehensive. Um, so which one are you addressing now? Now we're working on uh, the supplies inspection uh, personnel going into the warehouse to direct the movement of materials, the interruptions that that, that activity causes. Okay, great. So let's take a step back and let's reflect on the last step that you took in order to address this obstacle. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, walk through this. So what was the step that you took? Uh, well, our step was to try to have the receivers in the warehouse direct material movement. Okay. And what did you expect? Well, we expected really just to learn what we needed to work on okay, um, and, and to, to be able to make that transition. All right. What actually happened, though? Um, well, what happened is that the receivers didn't have the sampling plan and didn't uh, know how to interpret the ANSI tables, so they, they didn't uh, have the information they needed to direct material movement. All right. And in the end, what did you learn? Uh, we learned that the receivers need additional information and some instruction. Okay. Um, so share with me now, if you will, the next step that you plan on taking, your next cycle. Our next step is to assess the uh, information that the receivers will need uh, to be able to direct material movement. Okay. So tell me a little bit more about how you plan on taking that step. Well, we currently have a sampling plan that has a lot of information in it, and so we want to go through that and uh, to identify which pieces uh, the receivers need for directing material movement. Is that, and who will do that? Uh, I, I'll probably sit down with that plan and, and go through and try to uh, uh, determine which pieces of information are needed. Okay, good. And what do you expect with this step? Well, we expect to learn uh, what we need to put into a job aid for the receivers. Okay, great. Um, so then when can we go see um, what you have learned from taking this next step? Uh, tomorrow afternoon, we should have identified the information uh, that the receivers need. Okay, so. great. Well, Alan, I really appreciate you taking the time to meet with me this, uh, this morning, and, and it sounds like you guys are well on your way. I really encourage you and the team to continue following the, the scientific process uh, that you're taking. Mm -hmm. Well done. Oh, thank you.